exalt you. We appreciate you for the life that we have received from you this morning. Because many have not gotten this life. Even last night, many died through accidents, through bombings, through war, through all kinds of diseases all over the world. Therefore, if we are alive and healthy and strong, then we must appreciate you and thank you. That's why I do that on behalf of all human beings. Because we are a family. But the intruder has made us become scattered and separated. And now we have become enemies. We keep on killing each other. We keep on hating each other. We keep on fighting each other. But Lord, this nonsense must stop. And it must stop now. Because that is not your intention. You never created us to hate each other, to fight each other, to kill each other. But that is what is prevalent in the whole planet Earth. That is what is going on. Governments are bullying the people, the common people, innocent children and weak women are suffering under this torment. And Father, we are privileged to know these secrets. And we are happy that we are able to learn more about it. Not for the purpose of pleasure, but for the purpose of your kingdom that you have set. As I stand here, Lord, use me as an instrument to effect change in the people's lives so that they will not be like other people, but they will be like Joseph's of our time. They will be like Daniel's of our time. And they will be like Yeshua's of our time. Because we need such people. We need those characters. We need those discreet behaviors. We need those wise characters so that we can take charge of your heartbeat so that we can do something, Lord. Thank you, Father, for bringing us this far. We ask that those that are here to come and are on the way, that Lord, you will bring them safely. And those that will not be able to make it, whatever their challenge, Lord, take care of it. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We are here again. And we are here not because of anything, but we are here because there is a reason why we must be here. There is a purpose of our being here. When it comes to God's kingdom, it has nothing to do with numbers. Even though numbers is needed, somehow, it has got to do with a people that have understanding. A people that will let their understanding let them know times. The times we live in. So we need him there. Ah, bet me a mawa who emrena eti muna. Now we know who need fast walk. Bible said of the children of Issachar who had understanding and knew the times 
and knew what Israel ought to do. You see? You need to have understanding, one. You need to know the times, too. And you need to know what ought to be done. In that regard, I want you to know that God is waiting to see a people that will have understanding in this critical moment. And know the times in this critical moment. And know what ought to be done in this critical moment. This is what God is looking for. God is not looking for people to come to heaven. That is a childish play. In fact, sometimes I get angry that I was so ignorant that I was part of the group of people that were marching people to heaven. I crucify myself when I remember those old days because they expose how stupid I can be not to have knowledge to know that every information we need is there. And I was part of this group of people ignorantly lying to people, taking them to heaven, which will never happen. Because the people cannot qualify. I am not talking about there is no heaven. No, I'm not saying heaven is not real. No, understand me. I am saying that that is not the reason for our lives. There are more important things God is looking forward to see you and I do. Such as knowing the times in which the world is running. And understanding the times. And then knowing what ought to be done. How can we sit down ignorantly and allow Satan's government to be running all over the world? And they prove themselves in their criminal deeds. Human governments prove who they are by the way they do the things. Even the Bible says, by their fruits ye shall know them. They wage war against each other for no better understanding or reason. It is because you and I were ignorant. Our ancestors, the disciples that had the biggest privilege of humanity to walk with God's presence on earth. And they lost it. It's terrible. Every day in the morning when I get up, I tell God that I am sad that I got up in this evil system that I slept in last night. Because this evil system must stop. Because it is running illegally. Somebody will say, what do you mean by the system is running illegally? Because God has judged it. And not only did he judge it, but he cast it out. John 12, 31. He judged it and cast it out. That means he has ended it. But the ignorance of you and I's ancestors, the disciples, their ignorance progressed in their negligence not to occupy because if something is cast out, something must replace it through or false. Their negligence made them not to occupy, not to replace themselves. And that made that which was cast out, that made the criminal to go round, round, and then came back and the place was vacant. Because 
and the real system na I am worse. And today, you and I are suffering this illegal thing going on. Every day we are complaining, things are becoming hard. It is the failure of your ancestors. That is why you and I must not fail the generation to come. That is why we must wake up from sleep. My job is to get this understanding and heaven will require much from me because heaven is waiting to see me raise a group of people that will rescue this world from this evil system. That is my mission. So if you are coming here or you are listening to me thinking you are coming to go to heaven, you've gotten it wrong and you must find some place. Because we are not interested in taking people to heaven. We are interested in bringing heaven to the earth. Amen. Yes. Parabot to yes. Yes. We are interested in bringing heaven to the earth. Which yes. is possible. Very, very possible. Yes. If not, God will not tell us that. When the disciples asked Jesus, teach us how to pray. He said, if you pray, just recognize that your father that I told you about is in heaven. And just hello him. In other words, just salute him. Finish. When you salute somebody, you don't need to talk. <laughs> and people are busy talking long, useless talks to God. You think God has time for your garbage? No. He wants to hear sensible things from you. Such as after you saluted God, which means, Hello be thy name. Then you go straight to business and say, God, let your kingdom come. God, let your will be done on earth. That is the business you want to hear. And God will clap for you. He said, this is a child I'm looking for. Oh, yes. That's why he said, I sought for a man to stand in the gap. The gap is waiting for people that can make sure the kingdom that has come already manifested. Mm. God's kingdom must manifest. Mm. Just like other human governments are manifesting on earth. Look at what Israel is doing as a government. Destroying and killing innocent children and women mm. of another place called Palestine. That's a government manifesting his will, his desire. And everybody is saying, stop. And he said, I will stop. God's kingdom must manifest on earth. And nobody dare stand on the way. Yes. Yes. If you try it, you'll be grinded into powder. Mm -hmm. That is what God is waiting to see. A people that can understand and understand the time. Because, look, I don't want to waste my time in this evil system again. I wish God's takeover will happen before the year ends. Amen. That's my wish. Because I don't want no garbage system anymore. No useless system anymore. No evil system anymore. I want this evil system haunted. That's my interest. That's my desire. And if you join me and you want it, shout yes. 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 Because look, this nonsense going on must stop. Yes. You will go and queue from morning to evening, vote for a government, and the government will come into office and be doing what they want. That's the evil system. The evil system, that's what they will do. After you have voted them into power, they will come and do what they want. They will tell you there is no money, but they will be living luxury. Riding in vehicles that are called anniversaries. And they tell you there is no money. Yes. And all you just need is small gari and some soup. And you are okay with they will tell you no money.
Let me tell you, if you are interested in such systems, the Lord cares you. Oh, yes! Because you are the reason why we are suffering. How can you allow such a system to be running? Then you turn around and be complaining. Complaining to who? You deserve a slap. Yes, you deserve a slap. Do you know this country's government expenditure is over 70%? And then you are sitting down that abiding the bear. Who are you? Neka obo abina otiso abain tiswa a car obo a more than seventy percent. Now who say thirty percent never there? Thirty percent ever there? We are mobile. I'm telling you. Yeah, we are mobile power. Because until government system cuts that expenditure, we are going nowhere. It will be merry go round. Merry go round. That is why we must stop this evil system all over the world. Not only Ghana, everywhere in the world. We must stop it. We must stop it. Why must people just leave and they don't think about others? In fact, I have always, look, let me tell you, yesterday when I was driving home, I was telling my daughter, when I got my car brand new, I never enjoyed the AC. And she said, why? I said, because when I put the AC on, I feel guilty that I am increasing cost. And somebody even is walking on the ground. And I have gotten the car I'm even adding another cost on the car to burn gas to enjoy AC. So I always rule it down. It is only when I travel to a place where the road is dust, then I rule up. Then I told my daughter, your mother used to fight me. When she comes in, she will just put the AC before I even think of bringing glass and the AC is on so that I can bring it down. And I don't blame uh, women like comfort. Sure. As for men, we need hard life. <laughs> because I always judge myself so that nobody can judge me. That is why it's difficult for me to spend for myself. Very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. You see the trousers I'm wearing? It's now 14 years old. This others. <laughs> and I'm okay wearing it. Yes. Because when I get home, I remove my dress and hang it. I'm not like you. When you get home, you throw your shirt anywhere. It will tear, it will destroy itself very early. I don't do that. I have shoes that are 17 years old. And they are waiting for me to use them. So sometimes people buy me dresses and they wonder why I'm not using it. This shirt I'm wearing was given to me four years ago. The day I have to go to the marriage, the wedding, and to go and join the marriage, I didn't know what to wear. Then I saw it, I said, okay, this one is okay. I tear the rubber. I don't have time for those things. I judge myself. All my life, my resources, my energy, my time, I want to spend making the lives of people better. That is what makes me a great person. If my life cannot make another human being better, I'm not a great person. I'm a failure. And I'm a useless man. Like many leaders are useless. Because their lives is even making people suffer more. As I'm looking for 4x4, four four, my son said, Oh, daddy, somebody can give you advice. I said, When I collect it, no, I'll go and sell it. Yes. I'll sell it. And I'll get about maybe 1.4 million or 1.5 million. 
Then I'll take the one million and do something better. And for hundred thousand, I can buy another land cruiser and use it. It will do the same thing. That doesn't mean you want to give me an investment, you won't give me. You better don't try. <laughs> <laughs> Because let me tell you, the first 4 by 4 God gave me in 2002, that when people saw that this man needs a 4x4, four four, they gathered money to give me to get one. That 4x4 four four I bought was the first land and Nissan Patrol that Rollins used. And when it got into my hand, I was the sixth person. <laughs> and when it got into my hand, it was 36 years old. But I used that Nissan Patrol and combed this nation 15 times, securing the borders of this nation with that same Nissan Patrol. And every time I got to the prayer camp, which I have in the north where my mother was, now she's late. Her most important need is firewood. I would take the young people in the prayer ground, send them to the nearer forest with axe and cutlasses. I tell them, cut all the wood, the dry wood down. Then they will start to pack them. And I will lay all the seeds behind the lamps in some patrol. Then load wood and load on top and cut. I will go about four trips. And if you see it, it will shock you. Because then the some patrol is one of the best in Japan. I remember one time I was coming from Takuradi, no Obuasi, in the night. Then I saw a truck in a hill, parked. I said, what? It's the speed I was coming. Mm -hmm. Then I slowed down and passed. Then when I continued, then I heard clear. Some people are coming to die there. And I said, Lord, so what should I do? He said, get that truck out. I said, okay. Then I turned. Mm -hmm. Came back. Parked in front of the truck. I said, driver. I said, yes, sir. Moa, Moa. I was calling him. I said, I need See, Fabra. And they, they said, What's that? Car wait, we say chichre. I said, What's that? I pulled them. That's when I trust that Nissan Patrol. Mm -hmm. I pulled them. The truck with this load, which was coming from uh, half a city, red oil and all those things, drums. Mm -hmm. Pulled them, climbed them. The car was dancing, but it was moving. Yeah. Car <laughs> <Siam. Hey. laughs> Maybe some engines came and added, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the driver was shocked. And I pulled the truck into the hill, pull it and pack it outside the road. They removed their road and I continued. The driver came home, Master, and said, Oh, there's it, there's it, yeah, yeah. Nipa, I'm going to here. And I left. My life must preserve lives. My life must save suffering women and children i hate to see women suffering that's why yesterday when i was talking i saw a program a, a news where in congo a whole village was being told the rivers are coming and everybody was running and behold i saw this holy struggling with a stick everybody has gone and left her at the back i said oh my god i was almost thinking like whether i can enter that tv and go and help that grandmother. Why? Why? Why are she done to deserve this? Children all running and trying to carry something of their family. These people are poor already and you put them through this wickedness. Some stupid person is sitting somewhere sponsoring rebels. Yes, stupid person sitting somewhere sponsoring rebels. If you are a man, come and face me. And leave these poor village people. You see these village people. By the time they are arriving, they say, oh, they are coming this way. Then they start going this way. Oh. What is that? And they are always on the road. Carrying their things up and down. And I say, look at human being. You are running for your life and you are carrying mattress. <laughs> What? What do you to leave this thing and carry this old lady rather? Whilst I was lamenting for the grandmother, I just heard Claire. 
she was able to wake up with her stick. How about those who cannot wake up? They have left them there to die. Because the people that will cook for them and give them water have run for their lives. And they can't carry her. They can't carry him. So they have to leave them. What have they done to deserve this? And we have leaders sitting down and talking purposely. Whereas every leader's responsibility as a leader is to serve the common man. That is why you are a leader. That is why you are a leader. One of the people that enjoyed my 4 by 4 when it was fresh, was Kaye girls. I used to come and carry them from Malata. So many trips to my center at trade fair. For them to be trained how to do meat pie, all kinds of things that they can do so that we can send them back with skill. These are some of the things I have done. And I want to do more. I hate to see women and children more treated. But there are some terrible women too in life. Very terrible. They beat and maltreat men and children. They are there. They know themselves. But majority of women, according to God's program, they are supposed to be comfort. Comfort means soft. Comfort means peace, love. Happiness. That is what a woman is supposed to be. One of my best friends was my mother because I didn't want to see her suffer. So, because of that, there's nothing a woman knows that I do not know. I even know more than a woman. Because I've learned so much about the responsibilities of women. That's why I can cook. Somebody will say, ah. Yeah, prophet, you can cook. Yes. Jesus cooked fish. That's light soup. For his disciples. When Abraham, the great man, wanted to die, he wanted the best meal to die on. Likewise, Isaac. And they did not ask their wives or daughters. They asked their sons. Because the best cooks are men. Yes. And chefs. <laughs> I'm one of the best cooks in the world. I'm telling you. And I love cooking. I love cooking. Let God bless me. And you will see. Every week we will have party. Amen. Oh yes. yes. I have money. Yes. And I have party. But don't be laughing because you are going to serve. So don't think you are going to enjoy. We are going to invite the poor people. All I used to do that every year in the north. Yes. I let them bring all poor people, beggars, lepers, all kinds of things. Every year I used to do party in the north. Somebody asked me, Prophet, always are doing party in the... I said, I will never do party for rich people. Mm -hmm. You have already... I'll do it to people who will bless me because they don't have. I used to do it every year. Nowadays, I became very international, very busy, so I'm not able to. But very soon, I'm going to start it. And invite the poor, the needy, to also come and enjoy best meals, good meals. Blind people, lepers, cripples. The physically challenged people. They are human beings and they need to be treated with all dignity and with all respect. God did not sit down on heaven and expect you to come and uh, we, are, we are going to heaven. This is a bogus knowledge. You see, religion is the worst thing that can ever happen to mankind. Religion. And what is surprising is that people have refused to learn. They, that look today, the knowledge of human beings are better than those people who brought those ideologies in relief. Yes. Can you imagine? 
Jesus prayed a prayer, Father, I pray that you do not take them out of this earth, but that you protect them here. Mm. Then you are here, somebody is telling you, we are going to heaven. Mm. Can you imagine this disorder of the highest order? Disorder of the highest order. Jesus, look, Jesus has prayed a prayer. Which prayer can be Jesus' prayer? Mm. And why will he pray that prayer? Because he and the Father have a serious project to be done on earth. What is that prudent? That is why he said his kingdom should come. What is his kingdom? His government should come. His country should come. His citizenship must be started on earth. If I go to the church, you don't hear anything about government. You don't hear anything about country. You don't hear anything about citizenship. All you hear is, we are going to heaven. And it's a deception. You know, let me tell you, even the people who are talking about heaven don't know how to get there. <laughs> the Bible says, such as a hand we give thee. If I don't have something, I can never give anybody. Mm -hmm. Now, if somebody tells you he's taking you to heaven and he doesn't even have the way to heaven himself, how can he take you? Mm -hmm. It's sad. It will take you to get a revelation that Jesus will say, I'll give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. If you didn't get any revelation, you don't qualify for that key. Yes. If you don't get a revelation, you can never qualify for the key to heaven. And to go to heaven, you must have the key on earth. How many people know this? No Bible school can even know this. I'm telling you, no Bible school. He said, and I'll give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. That means that if you don't know the concept of kingdom, you can never qualify for the key. Never. Forget it. So religious Christians, oh, you are lost. <laughs> I'm telling you, you are lost. Because there is a key that you must get on heaven. Now get for heaven. And you must get it on earth. And it is dependent on the revelation about who Christ is. But who he is. Yeshua Amasia. Who is he? And to know somebody, you must know what he said about himself. And what did he say about himself? He said, I was sent to bring the kingdom of God to earth. Those people sending people to heaven, why you ask them, what did Jesus say? What are we supposed to do? Why did Jesus can they say he came to die for us? It's a lie. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. The man is just said in Luke 4 43 that I must preach the gospel of the kingdom of heaven to all the nations of the earth and the cities and the communities. Why? Because that is why I was sent. Hmm. He said it. I didn't say it. He said it. This is the horse old mouth. I'm not saying that he did not die for you. But that's not why he came. <laughs> so you see, religious Christianity is bogus. When I say you are bogus, you get angry. But that's bogusness. <laughs> yes. Bogusness does not mean an insult. Bogusness means uselessness. Uselessness means unuseful. <laughs> Usefulness is what we need. Life is waiting to see you do the reason why life was given to you. How did man get life? God said, let's make man in our own image and likeness and let them have dominion. Let them have a mission called dominion. That means you were created for the purpose of dominating the earth. But what do we see? You are busy dominating chicken. That's all we do. When we get up in the morning, what are we going to eat? All we are thinking about is what we are going to eat. That is why the devil approached Jesus with bread. 
That means the weakest thing a man can be flawed with is bread. <laughs> yes. The devil knows that. And it is true. When people get up in the morning, they have not done any work. They are asking about what they eat. So the weakest tool to flaw a man is bread. So those of you who cannot stay or hunger for just short hour, small, you, know, you, you are in trouble. You are in trouble. And eating is why you are sick. Eating is why you are sick. Because you eat wrong. People who like to eat, they don't check what they eat. And they keep on eating poison. A system that is running in this world is the biggest burden of God. That system must be stopped. Because God judged that system. John 12, 31. God judged it and cast it out. I used to like reggae a lot. But I, I didn't know why I like reggae. Until one day I took time to listen to the reggae sing. And I heard them sing and say, let's check the real situation. But the system, I said, wow. So these guys knew a system is running way back when I used to be a student. But Mali and Co were singing about a system. A man of God did not have any clue about the system. <laughs> they are busy shouting, they are taking people to heaven. And that system has already finished the people. Who. That system has disqualify the people already, including the people that are taking them to hell. A system! When I now discovered the mysteries of God's kingdom from the scriptures, then I saw that, oh, this is the system Jesus judged and cast out. But the negligence of our ancestors which was as a result of their ignorance, made the system come back. So currently, the system is running illegal. The system is now running illegally. A system that will be able to create disease for people, to make money, that's an evil system. A system that can create shortage. Developed countries, farmers harvest, bumper harvest. And when they check their produce, they know how much they harvest every year. This year, we have harvested three times what we harvest every year. If we send the three times to our suppliers, our price will drop because demand and supply. The more goods on the market, the lower the price. So, what do we do? Let's apply the evil system. So, the two times that have been added, they will destroy them and put them in the earth. So, that they will send the one that they always send. So, that the price will be maintained or increased. Why do you think they have OPEC? They go and sit down. Evil people. Those people. Evil people. The crude is in the earth. That belongs to all of us. They go and plan. You produce more. You produce more. So they will bring more on the market. So that the crude oil will rise. They call them cartel. This is the evil system we are talking about. They make life difficult for humanity. They are not interested in your upkeep. They are interested in their selfish profits. And they have made billions that they can never finish spending. And they are still wanting to make more. Evil. Evil. Wickedness in high places. 
That is the system we must hold and stop it. Halt it one time. Now. Amen. That evil system must not be allowed to continue. That is why Jesus came. Jesus didn't come for you to go to heaven. No. He said, when you pray, tell God, send your kingdom and let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Heaven was supposed to be here already. <laughs> Permission was given to us 2023 years to bring heaven to the earth. But it's our ignorance that has kept us in this hell. This evil system that is making us suffer hell, torment. But this system must stop. Amen. And it will take you and I to stop it. Amen. Joseph stopped it before. Thousands of years ago, little boy Joseph, he was just 30 years when he stopped that evil system and saved the world from famine. Daniel and his three friends, 20, 20 years boys, were able to halt that system of Nebuchadnezzar. Why can't we also do that? Do you know we are better than them? Yes, we have education. They didn't have that education. They didn't know light. They've never seen light. They were using lanterns. They have never seen vehicles, aeroplanes. No, they have never. They have never seen phones. So we are better than them knowledge-wise. So we can stop this evil system very simple and easy. It is for you to agree because the divine constitution says how can two work together except they agree. God's interest is to hold the system. He has judged it already and cut it out. So he wants you to agree so that he will manifest it. That's why God said I sought for a man or a woman to stand in the gap. Ezekiel 22 30 that I'm looking for another woman or another man like I got Joseph and Daniel so that they can stand in the gap so that I can hold this evil system. It's wicked. Look at the bombs that are raining on innocent people in Gaza. Look at what is happening in Ukraine. Evil system. Just get up and attack another person. Why should Hamas do what they have done? But that does not mean we should kill other innocent people. There are other ways we can do to smoke out those Hamas people. Terrorists are part of the evil agenda of the evil system. Terrorists. They have been deceived that when they kill people, they will go to heaven. Jesus Christ. That's another heaven that belongs to the devil. Not God's heaven. God will not make that mistake. God says, love your enemies. Do good to them that hate you. So how can God allow evil people like you, who kill other people, to come to his heaven? Ha! The greatest creation that God has ever done is man. Yes, the greatest creation that God has ever done is man. But the most useless creation that God has ever created is man. <laughs> As the person said, are you part of them? <laughs> As the person, oh, he's talking about you. Man is so useless. Do you know that? God even advised man that go to the ant and learn. That is how useless we are useless. That the ant was even valuable than us. Ant. Because the ant was so valuable that God said, you that you have devalued yourself, go and get some value from the ant. It's tiny, tiny, tiny insect. That's how low you have fallen. Man, that is how low you have dropped. You need to wake up, man. Wake up! And say no to this evil system that is running. Look, it is the evil system that is making our economic mess up. Evil system. They make the economies of the world mess up. Because they are always thinking about themselves. Selfish. 
If not, why should this country give contracts to foreign countries to come and take our resources and we only get 10%? No, think about it. <laughs> you think that it is only 10%? Some people have taken some other percentage which we don't know about. <laughs> when the government in power came into power, they went to Dubai. And the president came and gave report about how much gold was brought. And the Dubai government also came and gave their report, and the numbers were different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the difference was two billion gold, two billion dollar gold value that we didn't know. So who brought this one? The man said, Ah, your company brought it. But in our records, it's another thing. Evil system, evil people, wicked people. Sucking the blood of innocent people. Vampires! They are the agents of the evil system, Jesus. Jesus! And then told us to occupy. And we failed to occupy. And that's why the system is still running. But I'm not going to die until that system is crashed. Amen. I'm telling you. Yes. I have devoted my life to Yahuwah. That use me, Lord! free of charge to stop this nonsense on earth. If Joseph could stop it, I can also stop it better. If Daniel could stop it with his friends, I can also stop it with some people. Amen. If you are the one I will stop it with, if I say I can also stop it with some people, say yes, I will do that. Yes, yes, yes I will do that. Look at this nation, so blessed with so much resources. Look, we can depend on only one thing. You know? And we are okay. Only one product we have in this country, one, is okay for us. Ah, look at Como Abe, Abe we gave to Malaysia. Huh? Look at the amount of money Malaysia makes from Abe every year. Billions upon billions. Abe, we are here taking Abe coin. We are just eating Abe coin with fufu. And some people are making billions and making their country better. And we gave it to them. So that means we should have made triple what they are doing. But look at us. Because we have allowed agents of the evil system. Agents of the evil system. Because they don't think about you and I. They think about themselves. Did you know here before the parliament was going to build a new parliament city? And with Amon for this to be, they have stopped it. <laughs> Clap and pray for yourself. Yeah. You, you have a building. Some Ghanaians are sleeping on the street. And then you want to build another one. Ah. Oh God. May God help us to stop this evil system. Amen. And it shall be stopped soon. Amen. Very, very soon. Yes. It has to stop. We can't allow our children to suffer what we are suffering. And do you know, if we don't stop it, they will even suffer more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They will suffer more. I used to be a child. We spent one penny. And we even go and buy something. They give us change. Half penny. Today, 50 pesos can only buy water. Do you know how many pennies are in the 50 pesos? We used to spend penny. And we even go and get change, half penny. I remember we used to buy some golden tree chocolate. So it's not no one in some packet. Three of them is one penny. So when you go and say you want one, then they'll give you change. Half penny, three. Ah! Today. Your mother and father has to prepare and plan before they can buy chocolate. 
because it's expensive. Chocolate that we used to buy as children. With our parents' awareness, we buy on our own decision because the money we have can buy chocolate. Today, a parent must prepare and plan before chocolate can be bought for the family. And even when they buy it, they have to break it and share. They can't give the family members impact because it will cost the families top money. Yes. That is the situation I'm talking about. Too. And we must arrest and stop it and reverse things. That is why Jesus came. Jesus didn't come for people to go to heaven. No. Like, if that is it, like right now we are gone now. Ah, since Jesus came, is it not 2023 years? We should have been gone. But Jesus has a mission that we must do, brothers and sisters. So let's get this heaven going out. In fact, Jesus said, My father even wished that heaven will be brought here. Is it not the best? Yes. In fact, the heaven that you want to go, no, they don't wear shoe there. Because you don't have less. <laughs> That's why the best heaven is on earth here. Yes. Because when you die, your body remains here. So what body are you going to use to worship? Huh? Spirit doesn't need you. <laughs> oh, my people. Don't let us be deceived. That's why Jesus told us the best thing. He said, pray that the heaven will come here because here is good for you. Because here you can get adversary and drive. In heaven, there's no adversary there. You can get GY go and drive. In heaven, no GY go, no. Eh? Maybach. Some of you say if you don't know pay Maybach. You are praying for God to bless you. If God said, okay, I'm going to bless you with a Maybach. He said, okay, God, wait. Let me go and ask, what is Maybach? It's a car. I'm not talking about the woman's back. <laughs> Maybe. One of the luxurious cars. Amen. Amen. So the mission why Jesus came is not what you have been told. What you have been told is wrong. Throw it away. With authority from me. If somebody doesn't agree, come and prove to me. And I'll prove to you. Because Jesus came and brought a government. He carried a government on his shoulder. And no one needs to tell you that if somebody is bringing a government, he needs a country. Because no government is hanging in the air, two of us. Yeah. Yes, every government needs a country. And even because he needs a country, he told you to be born again. How did he become a Ghanaian? Birth. Are you not a Ghanaian by birth? Yes. yes. So Jesus wants you to be a citizen to his country. And you need to be a citizen by birth. But this time is spiritual birth. Whilst countries' physical birth makes citizenship, Jesus' spiritual birth will make you a citizen to God's country. And that is what the whole thing is supposed to be. Jesus came so that we can have this mission to get things done. A country, a better country, of course, a country with better economy. One of the best economies that you can think of or have on earth is God's country's economy. Because God's country's economy is not affected by the demand and supply on earth. No, it's not. The disciple said, Master, we don't have money. He said, what do you mean? My money is not from your bank. He said, Master, so where would we get money? He said, go and throw a hook in the sea, in the river. Hook the fish. And then you get money from his mouth. You see? That's God's economy. And by the way, that was the first ATM Jesus operated on earth. Before you started to see ATM, Jesus has operated an ATM long time. And it is the best ATM because you don't need a car. Come on now. 
And every ATM, you need to put your money in the bank and write your name and identify yourself before you are giving money. But Jesus ATM, you don't need a bank, you don't need to deposit, you don't need a card, you don't need anything. All you need to do is to obey Jesus and you will make some money from some fish mouth. Tell the person, open your mouth, let me take some money. <laughs> That's the best economy of the world. The economy that does not run by demand and supply. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Every economy on earth is dependent on demand and supply. And they'll be drawing some cash and crooked cash, useless cash. <laughs> and upon all those cash, still the economy of the world is shaking. Always they are struggling with it. <laughs> Governments are not able to get grounds with the economy that is running on earth. But I have good news for you. There's an economy that is not shaking. There's an economy that is not dependent on demand and supply. That is the economy I'm introducing you to. And if you agree, say yes, we welcome that economy. There are two governments available to you. The biggest mistake you have done is to enroll yourself to the government of Nanadu. <laughs> That's the biggest mistake. There is another government in heaven, which is the government of Yeshua Amasia. Yes. If you enroll yourself to that government, whether Nanadu's government is running well or not, you don't have problem. Yes. <laughs> the government of heaven has no effect in economy. Human government will have crisis. That's why Ukraine war can affect the government of this country. <laughs> COVID will affect the government running in this world. When COVID came, all economies were struggling. But I have good news for you. There is an economy in heaven that does not shake by any disease, by any war. By any confusion. Yes. That is the economy that you must be chasing now. Amen. And that is the government of Yeshua Amasia. And it's simple to become a citizen of that government. All you need to do is to come to yourself and make up a new mind. And then you'll be enrolled in that government system. And from that moment, let me tell you, you'll just be going to your work because you want to help Ghana. But you are not dependent on Ghana's economy. You don't understand what I mean. Yeah. Look, if you rely on that economy that I'm talking about, you and your family will never be bothered with what is happening to Ghana. Oh, haven't you read? Egypt was going through crisis. And there were some people too in Egypt. They didn't even feel anything. They were in Egypt, in another place of Egypt called Goshen. Because they belonged to the economy and the government of heaven. They were Joseph's family. They were in Goshen, which is in Egypt. But the economy of Egypt and the troubles of Egypt, the red and the blood water, did not enter Goshen. The Bible even says some of the Egyptians ran into Goshen. It is time for you to run into God's economy. Yeah. Yeah. It is time for you to run into Jeez. God's economy. Amen. So that the economy of the world will not have any effect to your life. That is the economy I'm introducing to you. And may God give you that opportunity. Amen. And God bless you for that. Amen. If you agree, shout a better amen. amen. Oh, lift a clap of him to Jesus. Amen. Whether we have some questions, then we can take some questions and then we will be done.